This is the fourth and perhaps the most interesting deal from the series of deals that came up in the Pan IIT team's final. I will quickly describe the bidding. It was board number 5, North South Vulnerable. I opened one speed, partner raised to 3 speed. 3 speed is a weak bid, typically shows 4 card speed fit and a weak hand but at this vulnerability there is a limit to that weakness it couldn't just be zero points so probably partner was showing something like five six high card points in poor card speed at least that's what i would take it as and then the bidding went waste to bid for heart i had a five five two one hand i didn't want to um, defend against 4 heart and I didn't want to give up so I bid 4 spades East doubled but West took out to 5 heart and 5 heart became the final contract now what do you lead against 5 heart that was the first question so holding this hand I decided against speed because speed was not likely to get us too many Tricks club was too risky, didn't want to lead a trump, so I thought I would have a look at the dummy uh, by leading diamond is and then uh, decide the next course. So I lead diamond is small diamond, three of diamonds, and jack of diamonds from the dick level. What do I play next? As you can see, this four card race of spades. If my partner had four card spades, as the three spade bid showed, my first worry was that there would be a discard available on spade ace, and that would be uh, bad for the defense if I allowed. Uh, the declarer to take that discard cheaply. Now, what else could I do? I could play a trump, I could continue diamonds, or I could play a club. What was the basis for whatever decision I was going to take? Now, partner played three of diamonds. We play standard carding, so three of diamond is definitely a discouraging card if partner meant it to be a signal of that kind obviously partner wasn't interested in a diamond continuation what were the kind of hands that i could envisage so first of all consider the variations of hand where partner would have encouraged uh, in diamonds uh, the lead of ace doesn't quite tell whether it is from uh, unsupported ace or ace king and in any case after looking at the ace four cards in dummy uh, partner would also be aware of not allowing uh, declarer an easy discard on that ace of spades. After all, from his point of view, even if he bid um, three spades with three cards, I could have six cards. And if he bid with four cards, uh, declarer would have void anyway. So this is the hand where partner would encourage with seven of diamonds. I would continue diamonds. Declarer cannot reach dummy to take a hard finish. If he tries to play club ace and back, I could give partner a club rough. If he plays heart ace and back, my partner would win and play a club and I would get a tricking king. So either way, the contract of I heart would go down. So this is the kind of hand where partner would encourage and partner definitely has length in diamonds. So definitely the three of diamonds was some kind of statement that partner wasn't encouraging diamonds there could be slight variations to this hand partner could have king of diamonds or 
these small cards uh, um, could be maybe king queen jack of diamonds with uh, um, with the declarer and partner having maybe um, king to three hearts and one or two clubs but then still not want to discourage diamonds perhaps but of course these are subtle points uh, the more important very clear point is holding king or queen of diamonds partner would have played a high diamond now consider this variation now this is where declarer has eight solid hearts king queen jack of diamonds and has an easy discard on use of speeds has an entry with ten of hearts in dummy and this is definitely a case where partner would like to discourage diamonds and would want me to play some other suit and obviously both being aware that speed is could offer a discard that suit would probably be club suit so this is one case where partner would uh, play three of diamonds and I would need to play a club to defeat the contract. So after giving a thought to all my options, I decided to play a club and it turned out to be the winning play for an entirely different reason on a, an entirely different distribution. I will just click on GIB and show you what GIB shows. Yes, a small club alone could defeat that contract on trick 2. And as you can see, the hand was one where partner only had 3 card of speed, had 7 card of diamond and had consciously decided to discourage diamond. I was quite chuffed to be able to figure out that I had to do something else and that something else turned out to be a winning play in a rather surprising way. The club lead seemed right and as I showed in a cup in one variation that uh, with A6 in partners hand it would have been important to play a club. But as it is, it turned out the partner had a wide in clubs. Uh, I myself would not like to bid 3 spade on this hand. I would probably begin with 2 diamond and Demi Kuma allows that because we don't play 2 over 1 game force. But then uh, that wasn't the choice that Vivek made. He, he decided to bid 3 spade and we still were able to figure out the right difference. So that was quite a satisfying part about the deal. I will be posting a lot of bridge content on this Demikuma Bridge Academy uh, YouTube channel. So please subscribe to the channel. After subscribing, please click on the bell icon so that you get notifications when new content is posted. Also, please post your comments and questions in this space below the video i'll be happy to answer your questions finally if you like a video please click on the like button that makes me feel good thank you very much bye